Hello, I hope you are doing great. Today we are going to see a simple example of how to use uh, or how to quickly and easily implement loading indicators using Blazor. Before that, please subscribe to the channel. You can hit the bell to get notifications. Also share the videos, like them, and let us know everything, anything you would like to learn about .NET Core, Azure, and Unity 3D. Let's start. Okay, so you probably have seen that in many applications you don't know what's actually happened because you click a button or load a page and the data is loading but you see no indicator at all and you see pretty much everything is static. Then you, <laughs> as a user, kind of drive crazy, want to refresh the page again, and before you're going to refresh the data loads or, or it never loads and you actually don't know what's happening. That's because in many applications, there are a lot of um, asynchronous calls being invoked, but no indicators implemented. Uh, when you are using asynchronous uh, data loading, you must use loading indicators to let the users know that there is some data being loaded at the moment and that he or she has to wait. Okay, so first what we need to do is we create a small, well, a Boolean variable, which is kind of the easiest to do. Okay, and right now it's not loading, but when we are going to load, you we need to set it to true. Okay. Now we are going to put the uh, we are going to change this and we are going to use a bootstrap spinner. So you see that we have here the spinner border and this is uh, a spinner indicator for bootstrap. Now what will happen is that at this moment it will always show but if I do this if it's loading then the indicator is only going to be displayed when this variable is true now we need to put the variable false in certain conditions Right now, I don't want to use the exception. Okay, so what happens here? When the initialize is executed, and this loading is going to be set to true, then we are going to load the data, and then when the data loading is finished, even if it either if it works or if it throws an exception, we need to restore the variable so the spinner uh, is not um, shown anymore. I'm going to set it here an error message. Let's see uh, text error. Okay, uh, now if I run the application, <coughs> we should see the spinner when we load the fetch data page. Let's see how it works. Okay, 
that was really fast and I think yeah I forgot to put the await here I forced a delay of uh, oh, wait a sec oh right uh, public async task Okay. So that should force it to wait five seconds when I hit the page. Now the data is going to be a lot after those five seconds. You saw the spinner, and that's the way to implement or to use some uh, loading indicators with. A blazer actually one of the easiest way you could do it just using a flag and map it to a bootstrap spinner and yeah every time you go there or that something is happening uh, you will see the spinner so now if I for example want to reload the data or something like that uh, let's see that I have a, a button Reload. Uh, I'll click equals load data. Okay. And now I create scene task load data. And instead of having these here, what I will do is I'll move this scout to the load data and that should do it. So we wait those five seconds for the initial uh, load. Then we click the button and it loads again and then it will refresh the data in case the data changes for any reason and you see that the spinner disappears. So yeah, that's the easy way, uh, the quick and easy way to implement uh, loading indicators or spinners. Uh, using Blazor. I hope this video has been useful. Uh, please remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to get the notification as notifications as soon as videos are being uploaded. And uh, let us know in the comments what would you like to learn about .NET Core, Azure, and Unity 3D. Thank you very much and have a great day.